Kate and Prince William have been urged to travel to the U.S. to protect the royal family from the damage that could be inflicted by the popularity enjoyed across the pond by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Royal biographer Angela Levine analyzed in her upcoming book, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, From Outcast to Queen Consort, what options the firm has when it comes to its relationship with Meghan and Prince Harry. In an abridged extract from the biography published by the Daily Telegraph, Ms. Levin reported a source claiming the new king and those closest to him should boost their presence across the pond. They told the author, the Sussexes are more liked in America than in the UK, which can damage not only Charles and Camilla but the whole monarchy. The American issue has to be dealt with, the Cambridges have to go to the US to show who the real stars are. As will the Queen Consort and King Charles. Kate and Prince William have been urged to travel to the US, image, Getty, Meghan and Prince Harry live in California, image, Getty, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex relocated to the States in late March 2020, just days before they bowed out of the firm as its working members. After being the guests of producer Tyler Perry at his home in Los Angeles for a few weeks, Meghan and Harry bought a mansion in the star-studded neighborhood of Montecito, Santa Barbara. The Sussexes now count among their neighbors TV personalities Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres as well as actor Orlando Bloom and singer Katy Perry. In the US, Meghan and Harry have established their organization Archul, which includes a non-profit foundation and their audio and video powerhouses. Read more, Meghan and Harry could scupper titles Meghan and Prince Harry remained in the UK during the national period of mourning, image, Getty, on top of their multi-year deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, Meghan and Harry have also struck partnerships with other organizations. As it was announced in early 2021, the Duke is now Chief Impact Officer at BetterUp, a coaching and mental fitness firm. While the Sussexes have yet to release a product for Netflix, the Duchess launched her first podcast series in late August, titled Archetypes. This program, which sees Meghan leading discussions on words used to hold women back, has proven popular as it hit the top of the Spotify charts in several nations, including the US and the UK. Don't miss Meghan Markle hopes for friendship with new neighbor Jen Aniston, Insight royal fans fume as Prince Harry placed in second row, report Harry wanted mediator for royal rift which left Camilla spluttering, expert, Kate and Prince William during a visit to Los Angeles in 2011, image, Getty, Kate, Prince William, Prince Harry and Meghan during a walkabout in Windsor, image, Getty, the series has a total of 12 episodes released weekly. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8, the show was paused. While their charitable work and appearances as well as the Duchess podcast have cemented Meghan and Harry's popularity stateside, it is believed their bombshell interview with Ms. Winfrey in early 2021 also helped boost their status in America and win over the sympathy of many viewers. Kate and Prince William are widely expected to travel to Boston in December to attend the second award ceremony of the Earthshot Prize. The line of succession to the throne, Image, Express, the heir to the throne mentioned the upcoming event in a video message released on Wednesday for the Earthshot Innovative Summit held in New York, which he missed as he is still observing the royal mourning period. Speaking about the upcoming award ceremony, he said he and Kate are so excited to be coming to Boston in December. This will be one of the first high-profile visits abroad of the couple as Prince and Princess of Wales and their first trip stateside in several years. The couple's first official journey to the US was in 2011, when they headed to California for two days to take part in a number of events, including a charity polo match and a red carpet event hosted by BAFTA of which the prince is the president. Kate and Prince William paid two official visits to the US, image, Getty, three years later, Kate and William returned to the US, this time remaining on the East Coast.
Among the highlights of this visit, the pair headed to the National September 11th Memorial and Museum and attended a Black Time fundraising event. William also gave a speech on wildlife protection during an Andy poaching event hosted by the World Bank Group and met then-US President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama.